is going to be my last video I make on this surviving R. Kelly documentary. Let me tell y'all some all jokes aside. I blame everybody. The young girls and their parents. Drill. She saw everything. She was around long enough to see everything. The staff members. They saw everything. The industry and R. Kelly. I blame everybody. Everybody played a role. Jeronda Pace, baby, you are not a victim. Not only did you stop R. Kelly until you got up with him, you recruited girls. The girl that you recruited, Dominique, she's still there. It's been almost 10 years, if not 10 years or more, baby girl. Javante, you've seen him having sex with Aaliyah? You should have said something. I blame Aaliyah parents, too, because Aaliyah is just not the princess y'all think she is. She was with the shit, too, and her parents were, too. Stop making excuses for these people. Everybody wrong. Everybody played a role. I'm sick of it. R. Kelly is not alone in it. And I'm going to tell y'all another thing. R. Kelly slow as the motherfucker. I'm not talking about just remedial wise. Mentally. And here's the thing about this. R. Kelly needs to get some help. I want him to get some help. Y'all can cut that bullshit out. Rapists and child molesters cannot be rehabilitated. They are always repeat offenders. Look how long this shit has been going on. More than 20 years. The less they tell us, the more we know. It wasn't just one sex tape. Lisa Van Allen, that's a girl. You are a child molester and rapist too. You had sex with the underage child too. You participated. You're not a victim. I blame everybody. I ain't making no excuses for these bitches just because they young. They were young yet, but these bitches ain't retarded. They knew exactly what they wanted. They wanted our kids. They didn't sign up for that abuse, but little did they know that came with it. Jocelyn Savage's parents, that girl telling y'all, y'all know what's up. These people put their kids off on their mind. They was looking for fame and fortune, or they wanted to be affiliated with fame in some kind of way. It's all about that mighty dollar. It's everybody. Everybody fell victim. R. Kelly, too. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of people trying to make excuses for these young girls. Talking about they weren't mature enough. Yes, they were. They had plenty of opportunities to say no, but they didn't. They pursued a grown man. And yes, baby, R. Kelly is dead ass wrong. But he ain't by himself. Everybody that's involved in this documentary is dead ass wrong. Everybody guilty. Down to the police and the teacher when he was coming up to the school. These people had the authority to put pressure on him, to put pressure into the media. But they did. Sparkle, bring that ass here. Fake ass tears don't fool me, baby. You was jealous. You and Lisa Van Allen, 
Y'all were jealous. That's why y'all testified against him. Y'all were jealous. Y'all wanted to be the only one. And yet Sparkle was fucking him too. Yes, ma'am. She was fucking him too. Stop it, boo. You are to blame for your niece. Because if you would have never introduced her to him, it would have never happened. I blame you too. I blame everybody. Everybody play a motherfucking role. If R. Kelly go down, if I was his attorney, I'd drag every motherfucking battle else with me too. Because every last one of them motherfuckers played a role in it. And I'm done with it. Terry Kelly ain't never been shit. He always have been about that mighty dollar. And pay attention to what y'all looking at. Y'all so caught up, y'all missing the message. These people are not only trying to call themselves exposing him, they are exposing themselves and still protecting R. Kelly at the same motherfucking time. Both of his brothers and Drea are protecting R. Kelly. Y'all better go back and look at it again. That brother Bruce that's in jail, he's down for R. Kelly, baby. He's standing ten toes down for his brother. Kerry Kelly, he shifted. He'll scrattle her, baby. He's scrattling the fit. Whatever benefits him, he's going to roll with it at the moment. Drill, she's scrattling the fit. She wants that child support. She wants that alimony. She want another book deal. She want another reality deal. Whatever floats her boat and get her paid at the moment. Join the page won't y'all about her book. She ain't shit either. She been promoting her book. And let me tell y'all something else before I roll out, baby. Them STDs, them herpes, that they don't contract it, messing with R. Kelly. R. Kelly been giving these hoes diseases too. He gave Aaliyah a STD. That's when she thought she was pregnant. She missed her cycle for a few months, but come to find out, R. Kelly had gave that girl a sexually transmitted disease. Now fast forward 20 years later. Can y'all imagine not only the amount of young girls that he has been having sex with unprotected. He has been having a se having unprotected sex with adults too. I wouldn't be surprised if R. Kelly has HIV too. Don't be shocked. Because it's a strong possibility that he got more than herpes. And them girls don't contracted it too. Think about it, y'all. Jerome Pace called herself outing his homosexuality when she did the interview with Tasha K. Y'all remember? She even giggled about it. She admitted to having herpes. Faith Rogers has admitted to having herpes. Joycelyn Savage has admitted to having herpes. Some man sued him about his wife because he gave her a sexually transmitted disease. Last year, Tasha K interviewed a homeless woman that was staying at a hotel because her house caught a fire. She ran across R. Kelly. Sucked his dick. He's supposed to be giving her two, three thousand dollars. He had a strong dick odor. He didn't pay her. Two weeks later, she found out she had chlamydia. Let that process. Now, do the math. Chlamydia and herpes. 
He's a homosexual, bisexual, whatever you want to call it. He likes men and women. He's having sex with all these people unprotected. They're having sex with people unprotected. These people out here rotating sexually transmitted diseases. If he got herpes and chlamydia, HIV coming if he ain't already got it. Let them marinate. I'm so pissed off because everybody acting like they so surprised. And it's been out for years. R. Kelly outsmarted y'all, but that motherfucker didn't outsmart me. This motherfucker called himself the Pied Piper. Message! Every song R. Kelly has made is referencing to what he's doing in his life. He's telling y'all a story. 